Hi everyone, it's Anika Chatrian from the Armenian Report and we are reporting from Ararat region where in a few minutes are going to start the Mars Analog Research Center's work. So obviously the Amade mission is uh, a so-called analog um, Mars mission. So we try out uh, a manned uh, with astronauts uh, exploration of Mars. So there is a habitat where usually the, the, the astronauts live. They have all the stuff there uh, which they lead for living, water, heating and all this. Uh, and of course there's a, a lot of um, experiments around so where people try out things that might be useful for uh, Mars later on. I'm, I'm looking very much forward to the, uh, to the isolation phase because that's when the, really, the mission really starts and then uh, we do all the experiments and then we really get the feeling eh, that we're out here alone uh, as it would be on Mars. The spacesuit simulators um, specifically are, are that. They're meant to make our work processes very much like working in a real spacesuit. So they're actually, for the most, you know, a real spacesuit keeps you alive in space or another planet. This spacesuit, we don't need it to keep us alive. It makes our life harder but in such a way that it's very much like a spacesuit. You don't have, a f you, know, you can't just turn your head around. It's, it's very heavy. You don't have um, good you know, finger feelings. You have big gloves. So working is very different. And if you're going to go exploring, um, for example, wearing a spacesuit, you can't just walk up this hill because it becomes quite dangerous and it's heavy. So you need help. You need some sort of rovers or drones or something to make exploration really good. We investigate a couple of things during this analog mission. Uh, one of them is uh, human robotic interaction. Yeah, so if we go to Mars or to the moon, to different planets, how can humans and robots work together to explore that new environment? The another thing is what we call the exploration cascade. So once we set foot on a new planet, in which order do we want to do certain experiments? If you imagine that people go to Mars, they will need at first aerial pictures, for example, by drones or maybe even satellites and then drones. And then they will send rovers um, to look at the places that they find interesting and where it makes most sense to send humans because human space time is limited due to radiation and the harsh environment. And that's what we try to simulate here. So we try to sell, uh, collect a lot of information about the environment with um, drones and robots. And then we go out as analog astronauts with the spacesuit simulators to collect samples and then also do other experiments in the, on the inside. These missions are really uh, very, you know, we're not about to go to Mars, right? There's still lots of technologies that have to be developed. And um, these missions help, especially in the early stages of development. You know, we're not making rovers or machines that will be sent to Mars, but we're testing ideas, we're testing concepts. What type of sensors will be useful? How can we deploy the sensors? What type of rover is, is good for, for doing the exploration? So it's more like testing the ideas of concepts uh, and concepts that can then be developed further into actual Mars exploration. The mission support center will be in Vienna and we communicate with them via chat with a 10 minute delay. So that's also how it will be on Mars because the, the planet is pretty far away. Uh, so uh, the light signals uh, takes about uh, 10 minutes uh, to travel one way between the Earth and Mars. For Armenia it's an uh, opportunity to uh, to get a lot of new knowledges because uh, we don't have a lot of uh, aerospace specialists in Armenia and project like this it's a big opportunity to be involved to learn a lot about about the real space when the real flight will be we need the people who have uh, uh, experience in, in this mission and, and all the people who was working in analog mission will be the first uh, people who will be choose for real Mars flight so hopefully these people really will be the first human on Mars. That's all. Karam says, Khantram in Zgreg Zer. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have fun, Amos. Thank you. See you back on Earth. Stopping the fucking.